This is True School at the Harlem YMCA. I'm the one Lindsay with the rest of the True School crew. And today we're going to talk about black leaders. True School! My name is Roger Smith, and I'm talking about Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was born July 19, 1918. Nelson Mandela won the Nobel Prize. Nelson Mandela was sentenced to life in prison in 1994. Nelson Mandela became president of ANC. Also, Nelson Mandela became the president of South Africa. I like Nelson Mandela because he helped black people, and I like to be president like he has been. My name is Zanya Ford. I'm here talking about Harriet Tubman in Harlem YMCA True School. Harriet Tubman was born in 1820 Bucktown, Maryland. When Harriet Tubman was 13 years old, she was hit in the head with a metal weight and had sleeping spells for the rest of her life. Even though Harriet Tubman had no education, she managed to free 300 slaves during the Underground Railroad. Harriet Tubman escaped in 1849 and, and went to Civil War. Then she came back and rescued her family in the 1850s. Harriet Tubman died at the age of 93 in 1913 and will always be remembered as a hero. My name is Yolanda Melendi and I'm doing Sojourner Truth. Sojourner Truth took many years from freeing countless people from slavery. She was an advocate for women's rights, she was an abolitionist, and she was one of 13 children born to slave parents. She was raised by Dutch slave owners, also married a fellow slave named Thomas, and had five of his children. After the Civil War, Sojourner Truth gave speeches on equal rights. Sojourner Truth died November 26, 1883 in Battle Creek, Michigan. I think Sojourner Truth was a great leader and we could learn a lot from her. Good afternoon, my name is Akbobi. Good afternoon, my name is Quincy Pell. And we're doing the Alex Lassie. Haile Selassie was a descendant of King Solomon and Queen Sheba. Oh. Haile Selassie was born to Haile Selassie in 1892. His real name before being crowned king of Ethiopia was Rastafari. Haile Selassie was the head of the League of Nations. Later it began the United Nations. Yeah! In 1935, oh. he defeated Italy when Italy tried to take over Ethiopia. Get out of here, Italy! On November 2nd, he was proud king of kings and then two nations came to pay respect and to his emperor majesty. Haile Selassie, as the best the father was crowned king of kings, people saw him as a new messiah. These people are called rat fairy. Haile Selassie never believed he was God, but he believed that the Rastas was descendant of Ethiopia. Hello, my name is Isaac Victor, and this is my partner, Emmanuel Dunn, and we're going to be talking about Marcus Messiah Garvey. Marcus Garvey was born in Jamaica, 1887, August 17. When Marcus was 14, he went to work as a food apprentice. Marcus Garvey organized and united black people around the world to go back to Africa. He started his own newspaper called Negro World, and he started his own line of boats called the Black Star Liner to help people go back to Africa. Marcus Garvey died in 1940. Marcus Garvey had two famous quotes. One of them were, up oh, you mighty ways. And another one of them were, one God, one aim, one destiny. They 
peace out. This is Emmanuel and Nase. I like and we're from